With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A beam of plane polarized right of large cross-sectional area and uniform intensity of 3.3 watt per meter square falls normally on a polarizer having cross-sectional area of 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square which rotates about its axis with an angular speed of 31.4 radian per second. The energy of light passing through the polarizer per revolution is close to option 1 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules option 2 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules option 3 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules and option 4 1 into 10 to the power minus 5 so if we have a polarizer and plain polarized light is incident on it and it has an intensity i naught then the intensity of light coming out of the polarizer is equal to i and the relation between i and i naught is given by i naught cos square theta theta is the angle now since the polarizer is rotating with an angular speed of 31.4 radian per second omega is 31.4 radian per second and we can also write it as 10 pi to simplify our calculations then theta can be written as omega into small t where small t is the time so for one revolution theta will be equal to 2 pi and omega is equal to 10 pi into t upon calculation we get the time taken for one revolution t is equal to 1 by 5 seconds this is the time taken for one revolution therefore it can also be called time period capital T now we need to find the energy of light passing through the polarizer per revolution and for one revolution we know that the time taken is 1 by 5 seconds so the energy E can be written as the intensity of light into the area of cross section into dt integrated from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1 by 5 now, i can be written as i naught cos square theta or theta can be written as omega t into a into dt integrated from 0 to 1 by 5 i naught and a are constant so they can be taken outside of the integral so i naught into a into cos square omega t dt integrated from 0 to 1 by 5 now cos square omega t can be written as 1 plus cos into 2 omega t divided by 2 into dt integrated from 0 to 1 by 5 so opening the bracket we get i naught into a 1 by 2 can be taken outside so dt integrated from 0 to 1 by 5 plus cos 2 omega t dt integrated from 0 to 1 by 5 energy E is equal to I naught into A by 2 into T with limits 1 by 5 and 0 cos 2 omega T can be written as 
after integration sine into 2 omega t divided by 2 omega 1 by 5 0 this is equal to i naught a by 2 into 1 by 5 minus 0 plus sine into 2 omega can be written as 10 pi as we wrote here so 10 pi and t is equal to 1 by 5 divided by 2 into 10 pi minus sine for t equal to 0 this term becomes equal to 0 therefore sine 0 is 0 upon 2 omega so this term becomes equal to 0 therefore E equal to I naught A by 2 into 1 by 5 plus sine into this bracket term becomes equal to 4 pi after calculation divided by 20 pi sine 4 pi is equal to 0. So we are left with E is equal to I naught into A upon 2 into 1 by 5. Now inserting values I naught is equal to 3.3 .3 watt per meter square and area A is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 10. So we get 0 0.99 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules this is the energy passing through the polarizer per revolution we can also write e is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 joules by rounding off to the nearest integer and 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule is given in option 3 therefore option 3 is the correct answer for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.